Alright everybody, part three, everything is moved, I have uh, awesome surface agitation, there is no dead spots on the surface, and after everything settles, typical water change has to get back in order, but Everything is flowing good. Uh, don't have any leaks. Knock on wood, knock on my head. Thank goodness, tried to do it right. It's gonna need a little time now to settle down after every water change is always a whole lot of fun. A lot of, a lot of dust. Back there is like the, the pump is, it's a lot more discreet. I like that a lot better, <clears throat> and I'm going to leave that big chunk of broken terracotta there. The uh, the jerapari are eyeballing it occasionally, and that uh, the electric blue acara that would be a perfect place for babies to uh, start off their life. And who knows, maybe that'll work out to be a baby place, a little infirmary. And I went out under the giant in the other room, it's still not taken down, and I had one last thing that I forgot was under there. This nice big power strip. So now, I've got it plugged in, and I can just throw the little button there, no more unplugging the pumps when I do a water change. That'll make it easier there. And, uh... For those of you who haven't seen the underneath of the tank, I was back there screwing things in and there's my union and my my valve which I've it's one of those insanely expensive ball valves for two inch pipe but uh, actually that's inch and a half there it's two inch at the uh, the stockman's and it comes down to one and a half I haven't really had to close it up, adjust it at all, but I want there just in case. There in the very back is my valve. I'm going to take you back. We're going to go in. Here's my my drain. There's the stockman on this side. It's not a lot of light under here, but hopefully there'll be enough to work. Hey, I'm even going to get a flashlight. Let's do this the right way. All right. Here comes a flashlight. Those are the Acreon 950 wave makers that I just used temporarily. Had them rigged up on a little glass angling in there. That is the JBO giant one that uh, it gave up on me. There is the lower fans. They run constantly unlike the ones on top which are thermostats <clears throat> there is my there's my valve I turn that valve it's got a constant siphon it goes right up the back of the tank it comes out and goes in to where it's about three inches from this the the, uh, the bottom I just open that up and that's how I do my water change, it drains. And uh, there's my valve and that goes up the back of the tank and in. There's my other drain and that's where I was when I was putting the fastener on this side of that long strip but this is underneath the tank. I was all the way back there. The cats like it under here. And those were for the FX6, which is no longer in service. And if you see the little wire right there, the little the little line that goes to my 
evaporator, my, or rather my dehumidifier. It's, it's on a pump so it goes right out the wall right there and connects with the tube, the piping that the water change valve connects to outside. I know it wasn't the most stable video just then. Kind of made me nauseous. Probably everyone went right along with me. But I figure while I'm messing around, I'd show you what goes on underneath there. Anyone that doesn't know, just want to say everything seems to be working. Ko perfect. Happy, happy. Awesome agitation on the surface. Now they have to get used to another flow of water through the tank. I like the way the uh, lights glisten through the, the rippling surface. And there's all of these, my fish friends, they're all bent out of shape because I keep messing with them and screwing up their world, changing it around. All right, everybody. Yeah, I'm not necessarily out of breath, but it was a good workout up on top of that. It felt like I just did about 5,000 push-ups up and down, moving around. All right, I'm going to do a video when this thing clears up. It'll be, it'll be clear by tomorrow. Maybe we'll do a nice long video with some soothing music. Peace out with Free Swimmer. Thanks, everybody, for checking in. Appreciate it. And, uh... Thanks, Jim, coming for the, the message back on those parrots. I was discussing getting some true parrots. And uh, he is a pretty pretty smart cookie when it comes to South, South American fish keeping. And I don't want to disrupt anything in here. And he, he feels like it might affect these poor little tetras. And they've been here for the long haul, so I'm not going to hurt them. I'm not going to do anything like that. Well, we might get some more electric blue a car or some more geos or maybe some more flag cichlids. We'll see. I got that itch. Who knows? Maybe even some more angels. Got the fish itch. All right, everybody. Thanks for checking in. Upcoming video clear tank tomorrow. See ya. Have a great rest of the weekend. Later.